Hello, my name is Dante Renee, and welcome to the 10 Room Bizarro YouTube page, where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more, like tonight's film, 1983's SS Operation Wolf Cub, by Joseph Sarno. Joseph W. Sarno. And yes, on the cover is the infamous adult film star Harry Reams. This is the back. Interestingly enough, it's hard to get some... Um, we have some photos that are behind-the-scenes photos. They're not actually photos from the film itself. Very interesting. And this is put out by a very um, unknown Swedish um, DVD company called Club Super 8 Video. Got this from DiabolicDVD.com. Um, I think the only place you can get this, or directly from um, the Swedish site um, uh, for... Um, for the uh, Club Super 8 video. And uh, Club Super 8 video is Swedish, and they put out some very, very unknown rare films. And this is a very unknown rare film. Extremely. I mean, you won't... Uh, I never heard of it. You won't find people talking about it. I mean, when you think of Harry Reams, you do think of mostly the adult film industry. And even... This is an interesting film even for Joe Sarno. So here we go, SS Operation Wolf Cub 1983. Wow. Talk about another diamond in the rough here. Another film that nobody's talking about. Extremely unknown. And thank you um, to, this, uh, to this distribution company and for Diabolic DVD, uh, me purchasing it. And they have a couple copies left as of this date. So let's get into this film here. Essentially what we have here is... I, I've never really quite seen a film like this before. And I really mean that. I've never seen a film quite like this before. So we have uh, two kind of renegade uh, guys for hire who are very respected in the military and are being hired for, a, um, for an operation and for a group of uh, military in, um, in kind of a deserted country land and the middle of the woods. Uh, near a body of water, and they are being paid to simply um, train this team of military warriors and to help ultimately fight terrorism. This is a very bizarre and unique film um, that will have a military bent, but a very, very strong exploitation bent but saying all of that, a very, very strong story and dialogue and some twists and some turns and some sexuality that is unlike the sexuality you would typically see and typically see for Joe Sarno as well and typically see for Harry Reem. So let's get into the movie. First and foremost, the music for the film. Uh, we have a very, very diverse score in this film. A wonderfully diverse score in this film. Of course, we have some amazing kind of 80s military music that you might hear in kind of an 80s Nintendo game. Has a great synth military beat with some great... There's, there's a lot of great synthesizer in this score. 80s low-budget synth score. Wonderful. We also have some disco, electronic, you know, disco sounding, funky, groovy, rhythm, disco, sexy disco. And we also have um, some very uh, atmospheric, uh, suspenseful, dark cues, uh, what you might hear in a horror film. Um, and we also have some great guitar work in here as well. Some very, uh, just some great guitar flavor in here. Um, and it is a very, very diverse score in this film. Um, we have some groovy 70s exploitation sounding music as well. Um, just that great exploitation rhythm in here as well. So there's a lot of diversity in the music in here and that really mimics the diversity of what this film is doing. Now in terms of the style and the cinematography we have beautiful locations here, beautiful uh, backgrounds and mountains and water and trees and, 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 and boating and everything. Just beautiful, beautiful backgrounds. Um, and we're, we're mostly all outside. We're in this outside location that seems a little bit cooler. Uh, beautiful, lush greenery and trees. And we have some 
aerial shots here. Some really great, I, I, I guess, helicopter aerial shots of, a car, of cars driving. And, and we have um, really great distance shots in here as well. Distant to the action. You know, kind of take, you know, coming back there and just getting it all, you know, from... Um, from a, a pretty far out uh, uh, perception. So really some great cinematography in here for a film that's so seemingly low budget. And um, some, you just really feel like you're outside. You really feel like you're kind of uh, in this world uh, the entire time. And um, uh, it's very unique. And, and, and the, the shots that you might typically think would be close up in this film are not close up. Now, the film itself is so, th th this is a very dialogue-driven film, and it's actually a very story-driven film. Um, and it's quite complex at times, and, and, and quite interesting, and quite unique. Um, at first, you might think that you're getting yourself involved in kind of like a, like a Swedish Rambo film, but it couldn't be anything like that. I mean, it's nothing like that. I mean, it is... It is, um, you might think that initially, and then it just completely deviates and, and goes off into its own method, its own world. Um, Harry Reams is amazing in this movie. Uh, just an amazing vibe actor that, if you love that 80s male action kind of grab him by the balls role, Harry Reams has it, you know, the sarcasm, the, the, you know, loving the ladies, and, and he's on a mission, and he's questioning authorities, and, and trying to figure things out, and, 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 and intelligent, and interesting, and, you know, um, there's, there's, he's just excellent, and there is a woman in this film, an older woman in this film, that when you first encounter her, is just so bizarre, so silent, so weird. You're not quite sure if you just jumped into maybe some weird section, some dream section of a Jean Rollin film or something, when you meet this woman. And she is so, her presence, re, re, you know, kind of remains for the for the entirety of the film and and her her presence actually gets more complicated and more bizarre as the film goes on um there are there are major twists and turns and i mean that you would see in kind of the explosions of of twists and turns in a quentin tarantino film or in you know in just those the 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 great exploitation films of the 70s and the 80s, you know, um, <clears throat> and you can, th th this film is so dialogue driven that the action sequences are actually few and far between, uh, but when they happen predominantly in the climax of the film, the climax portion of the film, because it is a portion, it's a section, um, it'll punch you right in the face and grab you by the, you know, it, it grab you by the throat and it'll just be like, you know, wow, this is, you know, it, 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 mixing with the twists and the turns, um, it's like this elation. And I could see a lot of people being like, man, this is really slow. There's tons of dialogue. It's so, it was so interesting to me. So kind of weirdly interesting, weirdly fascinating to me. Uh, the different characters, the different stories of the characters, the different conversations. Harry Reams is just pushing this movie around. And and it's just, you feel this weird vibe when you're watching this movie that you can only get, you know, from that low-budget early 80s. And this is Swedish, the Joseph Sarno film. You got Harry Reams. You're not quite sure, is this going to get violent? Is this going to get sexy? Is this not... Um, you know, the, because the film is for something called SS Operation. You're thinking also, this is Nazi exploitation. You know, what are we getting ourselves into? And it's not like that at all. Um, you know, there's not torture and things like that. There's a there's a wild action sequence, a violent sequence in the beginning of the film that has the weirdest gun sounds um, in the whole film. Because the rest of the film has very realistic gun sounds. But at the beginning of the film. It's like sounds like cap guns. It's so bizarre. But it's a pretty violent sequence. At the beginning of the film. Um, but we don't have you know. A ton of violence in this film. And we also do not have the typical. 
sexuality that you might be thinking, that you might be expecting, but I've got to tell you this. I have never seen sexuality done like this before. Not yet. And what I mean by that is we have a film that has very little nudity, a uh, full frontal f uh, from a woman, um, and distant shots of uh, people kind of, uh, you know, skinny dipping, but distant, but very few nu you know, nude scenes, breasts, um, vagina, but of an older woman, of an older woman. But this is a film breathing so much sexuality without much nudity, a little bit of sexual situations of two people uh, having sex, but it's the, um, I mean, there's not even a much cursing in the film. I mean, uh, I, I think just a couple curse words. It's, how do I say this? It's so difficult to say this. It's almost as if there is a hidden porno in this film with very little nudity and sexual situations. And that the sexual situations, the explicit sexual situations are in the tone of the film, in the invisible tone of the film, in the invisible lesbian relationship, in the invisible uh, sexual frolicking and moaning coming from the woods of a fertility rite. Yes, fertility rites. And, you know, the almost satisfied situations with Harry Reams and the dialogue talking, you know, uh, being horny or, um, you know, oh, I hope he'd spread me open, you know, and penetrate me. You know, we're not talking about vulgar di sexual dialogue with, with like cursing, but it's vulgar without cursing. If you understand what I'm saying here, this would have been a, a, a very interesting film to market, I could only assume, but it's a film that could get you almost horny, but you, somebody else might say to you, but why? But why? You know, and so I, I hope I'm describing that well. And, and it's, there is such a great, fun, low budget vibe to this film that is so unique. Um, and it actually, as I said before, has a very complex storyline uh, to this film. And if you like that 80s wilderness action exploitation with a healthy dose of uh, kind of a, uh, the, the actors are speaking in English, um, even though uh, the majority, minus Harry Reams, are, are foreign, probably Swedish. And a healthy dose of some weird and some bizarre and some really hardcore twists and turns and action sequences in the climax of this film that'll kind of blew me away a little bit. I mean, it was, you know, it was like... Like the, the just what you love about exploitation, you know, the 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 wildness of the gunplay and of whose side is is who on and and what is being defined here and what is going on, you know, and what a wild, uh, funny ending to the film as well. Um, this is SS Operation Wolf Cub. Uh, put out by uh, Club Super 8 Video. You can get it directly from Club Super 8 or you can get it from DiabolicDVD.com but they only have four copies left. I bought one, so it was five, now down to four as of this video. So, this is it, folks. Joe Sarno film. We have uh, Harry Reams and we have uh, Swedish actors in here as well. What a unique film experience. Thank you so much for watching the 10 Room Bizarre YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more like this 1983 awesome film. Thank you so much and good night.